the real Tom Rose, and we're solving an average problem here. Uh, the important thing to remember when you're dealing with average problems is, of course, the average formula, which is a plus b divided by 2 equals the average. In this particular question, they actually ask us, what is the average of a plus b? So this is not only the average formula, but it's also the answer. So let's circle that to remember that that's what we're looking for. Now, this is a problem that has variables in the answer choices. And whenever you see that, you always want to consider two possible routes to solve it. You want to consider plugging numbers, and you want to consider an algebraic solution. Let's put the algebra one further off to the side, actually, because I don't think it's going to come up this time. I always start with plug numbers because it's faster, less error prone, and if you want to switch to algebra, it's very easy to do so. So let's start out with plugging numbers. And what we want to do is, so we're, it's, they start out by telling us the average of n and n plus 8 is a. So let's write that down. So here's the average formula, n, n plus 8 equals a. And they also tell us the average of n and n minus 4 is b. So let's put that one on here too. Those should both be divided by 2, by the way. So here are both of our averages. And finally, they ask, what is the average of a and b? Now, here's the, the moment where you might be tempted to attempt an algebraic solution. right? We have, we have a formula for a, a formula for b, and they're all in terms of n. So you might be tempted here to plug in to a plus b over 2. And what that's going to be is all of this thing plus all of that thing divided by 2. And that could work, but that's probably a mistake to try to do that for a couple of reasons. Uh, the main reason being it's going to take a long time, but also secondarily it's very error prone, and you're probably going to find yourself caught in the weeds. So let's keep going down the plug numbers route and see how that goes. So we need to pick a number for n. I like small primes, so I'm going to pick 2. So let's do 2 plus 2 plus 8 over 2. That is 10 plus 2. 12 over 2 is 6. And I like to keep a running track of what I've picked. So we pick n equals 2 and we just calculated a equals 6. And let's also plug in n. We have to use the same n of course. Over on the right side for b And what we'll find is this is 2 and negative 2 give us 0. So we just found that b is equal to 0. And at this point, what we can do is go ahead and plug back in to what we were hoping to find, which is a plus b over 2, which turns out to be equal to 3. So we're hunting for the answer choice, which equals 3. And now we can plug in what we've been given. So n is 2. So answer choice a is 2. That's out. Answer choice b is 2 plus 1. That's 3. That's looking pretty good. But we're, let's check the others. 2 plus 4 is 6. So that one's out. 2 minus 12 is negative 10. That's definitely out. And 2 times 2 minus 4 equals 0. So that one's out. And we're left with answer choice B, which is equal to 3. Look how much work we saved. You have to imagine it, all the garbage that we would have had to do if we had tried to use the algebra method. This is all saved time, skipped errors. Right, two really good things for you to do.